Hello there, and welcome back to Red Squirrel Tarot Messages. I hope all of you are doing well. Uh, I haven't been on here for a while. I have been tending to my own life purposes. So that's why I'm here now. Um, so... I've been getting a lot of energy. Um, the star card keeps popping out. Infamously, King of Swords is always, always there on the forefront of any, any reading that I do, really. King of Swords just, that's, uh, it's one of the energies that are predominantly flung towards me. So I guess that's, the, the King of Swords energy is one that attracts towards my energy. Uh, Aquarius Libra Gemini. The, uh. Remember, everything is energy, right? We are all magnets. I only get the energy that is polarized towards me, so that's that's the information I have to give towards those who resonate with uh, whatever vibe I put out there, because that's what's attracted to me. It's a give and take, push and pull. There's uh, King of Swords and the King of Wands are on the board here with the Two of Swords. So, in this situation, this looks like friends, two friends, or just two different, two different energies that are not speaking to each other. People are choosing not to speak to each other. Lovers. And the hermit. So an air sign and a fire sign are not speaking to each other. Involved would be lovers. Lovers card here doesn't come out just for no reason. So this is a partnership between two people who just aren't talking to each other. And they're in hibernation. That's what the hermit is. It's taking time to yourself and not really uh, spending time with others. Or... In the least amount uh, of time with others and majority by yourself. Hmm. King, King of Cups. And the Knight of Cups. Emotion, passion, and communication. The King of Swords is not emotionally stable at this time. They're still kind of in their immature little puppy love era. That's what the night is. It's just, it may be presenting that way. Childish, I'm getting childish from this. The King of Wands is also the King of Cups. They're passionate, ready to love, open hearted. Ace of Cups. So somebody's repairing. Or has repaired their cup. It's the Ace of Cups is. It's brand new energy towards keeping your heart open. I'm not um I'm gonna keep this in the deck. It's on the bottom. It's on the bottom of the deck. Two of Cups. Partnership lovers, etc. Right? Um if it comes out, it comes out. I just threw that out too. Okay, <laughs> okay, relax, relax. The Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. Um, yeah. <sighs> it's 
This is wanting to start over, wanting to create. Wanting to create that bond, right? <laughs> it's saying there's mutual love here. The King of Wands has the Ace of Pentacles and the King of Swords has the um, the unsta instability within their love for another person. Because when, when you have love for another person, it comes out like this, right? That's on the opposite side, though. Like this. When you have enough love to give another person, that's the Nine of Cups because you've already filled your own, right? The Knight of the Knight of Cups has been through some stuff. They've seen some things, right? They know how to go in and out of any situation because they know how to throw their walls up, or they know how to uh, take take a fast exit. This person knows how to uh, shut down their feelings. And this person doesn't know how to shut them off. One person knows how to shut them down. The other person doesn't because they do it, they do it with a pure heart. Ten of Swords is on the bottom. Betrayal. Shortcomings. The end of a situation. Oh my God. Confirming. <laughs> it's, just, it's on the bottom of my other deck. Uh, King, of, uh, King of Swords. Confirming King of Swords already on the de on the board, but we're just gonna keep shuffling through. So this is this is just a taste of what the energy I've been uh, receiving here with my cards. Ace of Cups, confirming the Ace of Cups. Three of Pentacles, building a stable foundation. I have uh, the order playing in the background there. So if you hear any random talking, that's just my TV. <laughs> they're signing a blood oath on some parchment. So they're making a contract up. Just whatever. Could be relevant. I don't know why I'm got two cards from the deck. I'm turning it over. This is the bottom, so five. It has to, five of uh swords. It has to be slander. Somebody talking bad. You may notice somebody just talking bad about you. Let's try this deck over here. Oops. I should get the uh, the deck that I printed all the words on. I haven't touched that one in a while. Let me... Uh... Okay, I'm going to go with this deck and then I'm going to go back to my other one. I'm feeling like I should I should separate that and I am. King of Wands, confirming the King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sag, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Some Virgo energy up here. King of Cups, confirming the King of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Ten of Wands. Closing out a cycle, a heavy burden, putting something down that is harmful to you. Putting up a fight. Seven of Wands. You're not going down without a fight. So whatever situation that... Uh, 
entail somebody moving on. There's somebody else that can't let go, that's not going to give up without a fight. Seven of Swords. Knight of Cups, confirming the Knight of Cups. Seven of Swords, slander, backlash, somebody talking crap, like... All right, let's see what else comes out here. <laughs> five of Swords, confirming the Five of Swords where I stopped at the previous deck. All right, what, what else is here? What else is going on? Marriage, the Hierophant, Taurus Energy. Nine of Swords on the bottom. <clears throat> so this was a marriage or a long-term relationship that went south. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini was too, uh, too immature to handle this. These two parties aren't talking to each other. Sneaking around, talking bad behind other, the other person's back. This could be because they're not talking. I just confirmed it, right? I'm going to go back to this one. What other information is there? Judgment. This is a judgment call. Or there's been a there's been a judgment call. There's been a judgment call about somebody's finances. Ace of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, and the judgment. Be somebody trying to uh, move jobs or positions. Oh, what is going on? Seven of Swords, confirming the Seven of Swords. King of Swords confirming the King of Swords. Two of Wands. Oh, everything and nothing exists right now. Because not much has changed. Between an ending and a beginning of a certain situation. Um, this energy also could be very stagnant where you're trying to move forward, but like you're just, nothing's really going the way you planned it. Possibly like, this could be somebody fighting themselves. Fighting, Yeah. I'm getting everything and everything and nothing exists in this moment right now. The next few moves that you make are going to be what sets the bar and what builds your bricks, like what builds the house, your foundation. Yeah. <laughs> Literally in the literally in the background, this is the cup that will change everything. 
So it's all about you and your own cup. It's all about moving forward. What's going to make you happy? On either side of this reading, right? Um, this is the cup that's going to transform everything moving forward. I couldn't have said that better. That's so funny. Um, you know, energy is energy. It comes through music, movies, anything. Like, it's just funny how that goes. Um, anyway, I'm going to end it there. And um, I will, I hope that this helped somebody. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Okay. Thank you. Bye.